What's going on out there to our TRX family and community? My name is Luis Lopez. I am the general manager at the TRX Training Center in San Francisco. Obviously, with our current situation going on right now, we want to make sure that you guys are still moving, you're still working out, whether it's at home or wherever you're at. We want to make sure we're giving you awesome content. Awesome coaches are going to be coming to help out from all around the world. Uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy this workout today. Just specifically with this workout, just so you know, it is going to be a challenging workout. We're going to be doing unilateral work, which for me is a challenge. Yes, I'm going to work out with you, so obviously I'm going to be sweating with you guys. So first of all, make sure to get your suspension trainer ready. Obviously, we're going to have a mat as well. You will notice a couple things. Number one, you won't hear any music, and the reason that is so you can hear me clearly. And also because then now you can go ahead and prep up your playlist to have playing in the background because at the end of the day, everybody's a little bit different. I'm really good at setting up some music, but it's better that you got your playlist ready, okay? So quickly with the, the, uh, the strap adjustments, you want to make sure that we're going to have it at two different lengths for today. We're going to have it at mid-length, which is going to be right in the middle of the TX suspension trainer where the gray and black meet. And then we're also, during the workout, going to have it all the way down to fully lengthened, all right? So I just want to give you a heads up on that. Um, before we begin. Key as well is just so you know that this will be again a challenging workout. We're going to do two rounds with times of eight different exercises we're going to do. Once again working on balance and unilateral work and then we're going to do a, a round of core with the TR suspension trainer. Okay. Also just double check to make sure that your foot cradles are ready to go because we're going to get those feet in a little bit later. If you don't do it now we'll have a break so you can go ahead and set that up. Either way, let's go to get ready. We're going to start with our five minute warm up. We're going to have our straps in front of us. Once again, at mid lane, facing the anchor point. I'm going to have, go ahead and have you start right away into doing what we call our T-Rex squat to pull. So once again, notice my angle. The goal is to do a nice squat. And then as you come up, do a nice row, all right? So as soon as you're ready, go ahead and begin. You're going to notice that these are two separate exercises that we're doing. And the reason that is, so you make sure you have proper form as you're doing both, okay? For those that are out there, you're more than welcome to scoot your feet forward just a little bit if you want to have a little bit of a deeper angle and get feel a little bit more of that pull. But just keep in mind that we are in our warm up, so it's not meant to be too hard, too fast. Our goal is just to get you moving. Okay? So we're gonna do this for about another 10 to 15 seconds. Remember, as I always say, it's not about reps, it's about your movement, so make sure that you are focused on maintaining that active plank as you move. Alright? We're gonna do one more. Then we're going to switch it up in three, two, one, nice. Now from here, I'm going to flip it over. We're going to do our chest and the lunge stretch. I'm going to switch it up on you a little bit. We're going to go ahead and start with those arms straight out like a T as I'm getting into my lunge and then switching from that. Okay. Now we're going to begin here, but I also am going to start alternating from side to side because I also love to do that alternating stretch for those that feel good and ready to start on these alternating stretches, go ahead and begin. But I'm gonna kind of alternate between the two so you guys out there at home have options on how you wanna work. So you can either do the regular chest to lunge stretch as so, or you're more than welcome to do the alternating, all right? So once again, moving that body, we're just warming up. Notice those knees are at 90 degrees as we go. 10 more seconds, looking good. All right, getting that arm above you as high as you can. Let's do the last one here and go ahead and relax, okay? Now, don't move. Let's get those feet back a little bit. We're gonna do a warm-up rollouts, one of my favorites to warm up that core. Once again, reaching as far as you can and then returning all the way back. So when you're ready, go ahead and begin. Once again, if you're still setting up, notice that I'm at my slight angle. This is not meant to be hard. The goal is just to get that core warmed up and those shoulder joints warmed up as well. You can step back a little bit more if you feel ready, but keep in mind that this is a warm up. This is not the workout yet. I just wanna get you prepped and ready so when we get going, you're gonna feel it, okay? So, still about 10 more seconds. As a quick reminder as well, this is of a, more of a strength core workout. You won't notice a lot of cardio, but because I've been getting some requests for some strength, decided to change it up a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and do one more here. Get a nice reach and return. Beautiful. Go ahead and turn back around again. Making sure your straps are even facing the anchor point at mid length. And once again, I'm going to have you just start with some basic squats. Notice here that when I come down, I'm not coming down too far, just enough so I can warm up those knees and those legs. All right, so go ahead and begin when you're ready. 
as we are gonna do this for about 20 to 30 seconds, okay? So once again, as you notice, I'm getting your body rocking and rolling. I wanna make sure you feel good. We are gonna be working upper and lower body today. So one, always wanna make sure you got that good range of motion before you begin, that nice mobility, and then from there we'll be ready to rock it, okay? So last couple of seconds. Beautiful, go ahead and let go of those straps. And from here, I'm gonna have you do just a couple of things to warm up your heart rate, get your heart rate up a little bit. So I'm gonna have you do basic squat jacks. And as soon as you're ready, go ahead and begin. Notice I keep the feet open as I go. Try to tap the floor if you can. If you can't touch the floor, just go down and what feels good to you, all right? Here we go. So, now I know we're starting to feel it a little bit as we go, because I want us to do this for another 10 seconds, okay? Keeping those feet light on those toes, touching the floor if you can. Last few seconds. Beautiful. Now, from here, we're gonna finish with inchworms. Notice, walking forward to a plank, returning all the way back, hands in the air. As soon as you're ready, go ahead and begin. Walking forward, all the way back, reach the sky. If you cannot keep those legs straight, do not worry. You can bend those knees slightly as you go, if that helps, okay? For those that wanna go ahead and do a push-up, you are more than welcome to pop a push-up for those last few reps, all right? So we still got about 12 seconds, which means you should be able to get probably one more in there or two if you're quick. So let's finish strong, reaching up. Last one. Awesome work, all right. So, first things first, remember we're gonna start with unilateral work, which is working on one side. We're gonna double check and make sure those straps are at mid length. And we're gonna start off right away with one arm rows. Now, I'm gonna start on my left side, so you guys can see me. You're more than welcome to start on your left or right. But you'll notice here that I'm actually gonna grab one strap and give it a nice tug, okay? There's also what we call the single hand mode, handle mode, but for most people it takes a little while to set it up, so it's just easier to just use that one strap, give it a nice tug, and go from there, okay? So, when you're doing the one arm row, it's important that you're facing your anchor point, your body is right in the middle of where you're anchored at, it's the door anchor or wall mount. The key notice is that as I go forward, my feet are shoulder width, and I don't have much of an angle because my goal is to pull while staying square at the same time. Now you'll notice my right hand is ghosting as I go, okay? So, if you're ready, let's go ahead and begin. Three, two, one, here we go. So, guess what? We're gonna do this for 45 seconds. Why are we doing that? Because I'm gonna force you to go slow, right? If we wanna work on strength, it's not necessarily just about doing a bunch of weight, but it's about how well you control your body as you move, okay? Notice that my eyes are at the anchor point. Notice that I'm squeezing that shoulder blade on my left side. I'm really squeezing both shoulder blades, but of course you're gonna feel it more on that left side as I go. And notice again that my angle is not much because if I'm doing it right, I'm definitely feeling it, right? Also notice there's no rotation in my body because I'm keeping my body square with that anchor point in front of me, okay? So we're almost done. Once you hear that last beat, all I want you to do is the same strap, switch to the side, we're gonna do a quick transition. Make sure you're facing the anchor point. Make sure your feet are good. And guess what? Minimal rest here. We're gonna get right into it. So notice the same thing, but now I'm pulling on that right side. And once again, you can adjust as you go. Now keep going. If you're rotating a lot from the hips, that probably means that you are way too deep in your angle and you'll need to get back just a little bit, okay? So if you feel a lot of rotation in your hips, we actually wanna do what's called anti-rotation keeping those hips square, all right? So, once again, if you feel good, keep it up. You can ghost with this hand. Another option is to keep it behind you, but either way, make sure that you are maintained. That position as we are almost done with these 45 seconds. Three, two, one, and yes. All right, so I'm gonna give you in this round 25 seconds to transition. Notice that I'm evening out my straps again. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do balance lunges. I'm gonna actually start with my right leg up, and the goal is, is to come back, floating that leg the whole time. So you don't want it to touch behind you, only if it's necessary, all right? So let's give it a shot. Three, two, starting with that right leg, all 
the way back, that foot all the way up, rinse and repeat. Notice first that my, bike, my right leg that's going behind me is staying at 90 degrees. Why is that? Because I'm maintaining that form. If I try to reach too far back, what will typically tend to happen with your upper body is it'll start to lean forward, so I want to prevent that. So maintain that 90 degree in that right leg as you pop it up and back, okay? If you're having any balance issues, you're more than welcome to tap and tap. As I'm doing now, this is only a modification if you need it. Otherwise, keep that balance as you go as we are almost there with these last few seconds. Beautiful, remember only 10 seconds, same exact thing. Transition on the other side, left side balance lunge. Remember where the knee starts, at least at hip level. Let's go ahead and begin. So all the way back and up. Keep in mind, notice that I'm going slow. Remember, we are doing more strength focused exercises at the TRX Training Center. We like to call that our impact classes. So really my goal is to keep you to go slow so you feel a little bit more of that strength work as we move. Okay? Remember, if you have any issues with your balance, tap behind you, tap in front, if this helps. But once again, if you got your balance down, how much and how well can you float that foot behind you and all the way back up, all right? So last 10 seconds, remember, maintain that position as we are almost done. Three, two, one. Beautiful, take a rest. Now here's the deal. You got 25 seconds. We're gonna fully lengthen those straps. You're gonna turn around facing away from the anchor point. I want your feet at an angle that feels good to you. We're gonna do our chest press, combining it with a rollout. Yes, I just did that. Chest press to a rollout. Notice my feet are about shoulder width. For those that want a little bit more of a challenge, go ahead and bring them together like me. Three, two, one, here we go. So chest press, rollout, awesome work. Remember, as you go in here, notice my hips are staying strong. And why is that? Because I'm activating my glutes, bracing my core consistently, so it helps to maintain my active plank. For those that are out there that want a little bit more to challenge, you know what to do. Can you step those feet back a little bit more? If you can't, do not do it. It's all about doing it right, what looks right, and what feels right at all times. Make sure to reach, reset, down, beautiful. Whatever you do, do not forget to breathe. As we are killing it right now, we are doing awesome work. Three, two, one. Woo, beautiful. Now watch what I'm gonna do here. You're gonna have a little bit of time is I'm gonna get you to get those straps underneath you, nice and tight to the rib cage. Let me go ahead and move my water quickly. And from here, we're gonna do a sprinter start, starting with that right leg behind you. And then from here, popping up and returning. Another way to do it is to start at 45, Bring that left foot in front, and then go from there. Ready? So here we go. So up, and return. Now there's obviously different options on how to do this. I'm just giving you the easier, simpler version. For those that also want to hold and return, you are more than welcome to as you come up. But the goal here is to keep that upright position. Bring that knee up as high as you can, driving it up toward the chest, and keeping that upright position as you go. So far, so good. If you want to go a little bit faster, you're more than welcome. But otherwise, keep it controlled as you go back. Pressing that foot, knee high in the air. Awesome work team, how you feeling? You feeling good? Because I'm already starting to sweat, so I'm assuming you're getting there. Beautiful, now you're gonna have 15 seconds to shake out those legs, and we're gonna do the other side, all right? So, once again, go ahead and do that. 45 degree angle first, bring that right leg forward to what feels good. Then from here, you'll be able to go, ready? And begin. Remember, you can go onto the toe and back, or no toe is needed. However you feel, the goal is to challenge yourself as you go. Awesome work, team. Looking good. Remember your upright position, and for breathing purposes, breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. In on the way down, out on the way out. Beautiful work, keep it up. Yes. Beautiful, are those straps staying tight to the rib cage? As you are moving, are you maintaining that proper position as you go? Are you staying strong? 
with those straps. Beautiful. Woo. Take a breath. Last few seconds here, I'm going to show you the clock press. So what's the clock press? This is a good one that I like to do. Notice that I'm starting, I guess I'm going to do a chest press, but here's the deal. It's a fly and a chest press combined. So notice I rotate one palm to do the fly, other side doing the press as we go. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, just do a regular chest press. Ready? Here we go. So clock press, once again, open, bend that opposite arm. You are in control of your body. Notice my feet are shoulder width apart. You are more than welcome to bring those feet together. Just be careful with that stability as you will feel a little bit more as you go. All right, so looking good. Like I said, stay strong in that upper body. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Excellent work, team. We're gonna get close to finishing this round one. So let's see how you're doing once we're done because you will get a little bit of rest once we finish this up. Beautiful. Last few seconds. Whew. And relax. So I'm only going to give you one minute of rest because I want these to be effective workouts. Once again, get those straps back to mid length. Let's do a self check. How are you feeling right now? From a one to a five. One was Lewis, way too easy. Five Lewis, way too hard. Once you kind of figure out that number, you know what to do in round two, because in round two, you can do a couple of different things that want to make it harder. You can make your vector angle a little bit harder, obviously go a little bit more speed if you want to involve a little bit more cardio or conditioning, but either way, you at home, you decide on how you want to make it harder for yourself. I'm just here to set the example as you see me working out with you this whole time, and I'm loving it, all right? So, 17 seconds. Do we remember the first one we're working on? Yes, the one arm row. Okay, so the one arm row, we're gonna get right into it. Let's make sure to tug that strap. I'm doing the left side to begin. Remember to find your angle. Feet shoulder width. Three, two, one, and begin. Remember, you are facing either your door anchor or your wall mount. Obviously, as well, that your body is lined up with it and that you're square the whole time so that we're not shifting those hips as we go, okay? Awesome way to move. Squeezing the shoulder blades behind. Remember those key reminders. Notice, you can notice that my feet are either flat. You are more than welcome to bring those toes up. But whatever is comfortable for you, depending on the type of floor you have, make sure that those feet are in the position that feels good to you and that those legs are straight. All right. So looking awesome out there. Keep breathing. Like I said, this is not meant to be an easy workout. I want you to feel this. Three, two, one. Yes. Woo. You only get 10 seconds of transition this time. So once again, make sure that you're ready to go. Right side, feet shoulder width. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and begin. Remember, I am ghosting with that opposite arm. If that just feels too weird, I get it. All good, put that arm behind you, right? And the key is still to make sure that you're strong in those abs, that core, your glutes are nice and activated. And my eyes are up the whole time as I'm facing that anchor point, maintaining position, anti-rotation, not moving those hips to make sure that we are doing it correct, okay? Are you squeezing those shoulder blades as you come up? Awesome. Are you giving allowing yourself to that full extension as you go? We are getting very close to finishing. Three, two, one. Woo. Okay. 20 seconds to transition. Make sure that your straps are even. Remember the gray and black are together and the TRX on both sides are good to go. We're going back to our balanced lunge with the right leg up. Key reminder here, make sure you start with the leg up in the air. Okay? Are we good? Stacking the elbows. Here we go. Once again, balancing out. Remember that back leg. Try to keep it at 90 degrees. This is just my personal way of enforcing that I keep my body upright so that I'm not leaning forward. Remember that reminder for those that are really having a hard time balancing. Tap behind you, tap in front of you, so that you can keep that balance where it needs to be, okay? Otherwise, with that balance for you guys down there, extra challenge when you come down, can you hold it for an extra second or two and enough? Only if you can. Let me see if you guys got it. Hold it for a second or two and then back up. We are almost done. Last few seconds. 
transition. Left side. Now you know the challenge. That second or two hold if you're ready for it. All right, so let's get ready. Left leg up. Three, two, one. Floating behind. All the way up. Floating behind. All the way up. Beautiful work. Remember, if you got that one to two second hold, this is about your time to get that rocking and rolling. For those with the balance issue, remember what you gotta do to maintain your stability as you go, all right? Beautiful work. Way to go, team, is your body in that upright position. Are your arms stacked when you come up? Beautiful. Is your knee coming up to that hip height, then returning and controlling as you go? Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Woo. Okay, quickly. Let's go ahead. Fully lengthen those straps. Remember that chest press to roll out. For those that are ready for the challenge, can you get a little bit of a deeper angle? And can you reach a little farther? So remember that chest press. Roll out. Ready for the beats? Three, two, one. Let's go. Chest press. Roll out. Reach. Yes. Chest press. Roll out. Awesome work. For those that want the extra challenge, can you hold your roll out for two seconds? Then return and press. Once again, can you hold that roll out for two seconds? Then return and press. Let's see what you got. Remember, you're not competing with me. This is your challenge. If it does not feel good, slow it down. The goal is to do what feels good for you. All right? Beautiful work. As I see, even though I don't see you, I know that you're pushing hard. So let's keep it up. As we are getting close to these last few seconds. Three, two, one. Woo. You can see that I'm sweating a little bit. Make sure we get ready for that sprinter. With those, once again, arms underneath the shoulders. Once again, 45 degree angle. And we're gonna start first with that right leg up and then back, okay? So, once again, let's get that left, excuse me, get that left foot in front of you. And then from here, we're gonna get that right knee up and back. Let's go, because that time has already started. Popping it up, return. Popping it up, return. For those that like the challenge, can you hold it in that up position for just a little bit longer? Just a little bit longer. Once again, as we're working on that balance and strength to make sure to see how good your balance is. Hold, return. Are you driving that knee up as high as you can? If you are, awesome. If you're not, it's okay, but that's your goal. Woo. Keep it up, team. You're looking very good. Whatever you do, don't slow down. As we approach in the last couple of seconds, and nice. Shake it out. Yes, we're doing the other side. 45 degree, right leg in front. And remember, when you're ready to start, we're getting that left knee up in the air. Okay? How you feeling? You feeling good? All right, let's do this. Three, two, one. Let's begin. Reach, return. Reach, return. Can you hold on that top position for a little bit longer? If you are ready, only if you are ready. Let me see what you got. Awesome work. Woo. As you can see, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. I see a little bit of a sweat puddle down there. So I'm hoping that you got the same thing going on. Because if you don't, you might want to push yourself just a little bit harder. That's just a suggestion from your TRX coach. Woo. Beautiful. Keep going. We're getting close to the end. As these last few seconds are approaching. Yes. Take a deep breath. We're gonna finish with those clock presses. Remember the straps are in front of you. This is the last one of this round. And like I promised, we're gonna do a little bit of core work with the TRX Spring Training. So remember, once again, quickly, press, roll out. All right? Ready to finish? Here we go. Chest press, roll out. Remember, if you wanna hold for that one second to two seconds, I challenge you, I invite you, if you want. If you want a little bit harder, how much closer can you get to that wall while maintaining that form? Are you maintaining your masses and your spaces? As you go, do you allow enough space between that head and that neck and those shoulders? Are you keeping that upright position as you go? 
Are your glutes activated? And you, are you bracing your core? Then make sure you're maintaining that active plank as we are almost done with these last four seconds. Ooh, good. We are going to get into our next one, which is going to be some core work. So what I want you to do is I want you to get those straps to mid-cap. Go ahead and get those straps to mid-cap, all right? So that means that the handles are going to be right at the kneecap. I like a little bit below the kneecap so that those foot cradles are right at the mid-cap, all right? And since we're going to spend a little extra time here, I'm going to go ahead and reset my minute clock to make sure we're good. Also, go ahead and drink some water. As you like to know, always drink water when you need to. I usually drink water after or toward the end of the workout, but for those of you that need it, drink it when you gotta go. All right, team, so far so good. Now, we are gonna start with those feet in the foot cradle. So for those of you at home that have the door anchor, obviously your feet are gonna be very close to the door or if you have a wall mount, same thing. But notice what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna keep it simple. What I wanna do, is I'm gonna lay back, stinky sock method, right over the toes, roll all the way over, and we're gonna begin right away with our crunches. So just to make sure that we are good, we're gonna do three to four different exercises and repeat them. <coughs> Two that'll be in the T-Rex strap. And notice when I start up, I have my active plank. Now from here, the goal is to drive those knees toward the chest without rounding the back. As we go, notice that my feet are pointing straight to the ground, and the goal is to do as many as you can. And for, for this time, we're gonna start with 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. But then when we do everything again, guess what? We're gonna do the 45, all right? Because I like you guys, I really do. So, let's go ahead and get ready. We're gonna start with our first 30 second exercise with the crunch. Go ahead and begin. Now, for those of you at home, if you're like Lewis, what about if I did a push up? You're more than welcome to do your atomic push-ups as well, which is a combination of the push-up with that crunch, but I just keep it as simple with those crunches. Remember when you reset, reset back to that plank, dorsiflex the toes, don't forget your masses and spaces, always returning back straight as a surfboard. Three, two, one, drop the knees. What's next, the T-Rex Mountain Climber. Notice first, almost looks like the same thing, and now bring in one knee, driving that hip up just a little bit to allow that knee to drive in toward the chest, keeping the back straight, all right? So we are gonna begin, remember, we're doing this all together, and I want us to do it strong, so let's get ready. Three, two, one, right leg goes in, left leg stays straight, repeat other side. Don't forget to breathe. Woo, awesome work. Now, you should really feel as if you're gonna start sweating, because I know, this is what happens to me every time I do these mountain climbers. Remember the toes are pointing straight down. Where are you at right now? If you need the rest, rest when you need to. Drop those knees. Go ahead and pop those toes out. We're gonna do what's called plank taps. Notice that I'm in a plank position. All I'm gonna do is reach as far as I can and switch sides, okay? So just the plank, just reaching as far as I can go. You ready? I know I am. Three, two, one, let's go. So reach, 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 reach. Try to keep those hips as stable as you can. Try not to rock. Minimize your rock as you reach and return. Reach and return. Reach, woo. Yes, sir. I don't believe that we're gonna do this again but with 45 second intervals, but looking good. Just focus on what you're doing now. Drop those knees. We got one more, you can get on your back. Once again, feet are straight up, head is up, reaching for those toes. If you can't touch the toes, don't worry about it. The goal is to get as close as you can, okay? Let's get ready. We're gonna bring those feet all the way up. Three, two, one, here we go. If you can touch the toes, beautiful. If you can't touch the toes, just go up as far as you can. You can bend the knees slightly, like I have now, but if you can, keep those legs as straight as you can, as well. All I need is 30 seconds, those arms can come behind you, you can just keep them straight up, whatever's gonna burn more, but the goal is to keep going. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing my arms up, 
as I go. Reach as I go. Woo! We're gonna do that one more time. Now I told you the challenge. We're gonna do it for 45 seconds. So let's get those feet back in because now we're gonna do this all over again. We are almost done, I promise. Remember that crunch, in and back. All right, take a deep breath. Let's go. Crunching it out, always back to your active plank. If you're already feeling it, it is already getting too hard, hold your plank as I am now if you need to, otherwise keep moving. Remember your toes. Make sure they're pointed straight to the ground at all times. Prevent the dip of the back as you go. Keep strong and drive those hips up slightly so you can get those knees toward the chest. Awesome work. Remember, 45 seconds is not easy. I'm here to finish with you. So finish strong, team. Finish strong. Awesome work. One. Woo. Take a rest. Mountain climbers are coming up. Remember the mountain climber is drawing the one knee in, then switching, all right? Drawing the one knee in, then switching. How do I look? Do I look good or do I look tired? You let me know. Get ready. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Let's work. Driving that knee, switch sides. Hips moving slightly so you can draw that knee up as you go. Otherwise, once again, if it's too hard, hold the plank like I'm doing now. If you can keep moving, keep moving. Awesome work. What are your toes doing? Are they straight to the ground? This is what we need. Are your arms staying strong? Are you keeping that active plank? Don't dip, we don't wanna see this. Keep strong, we're getting close to finishing. Rest only when you need to. Rest only when you need to. We're getting close. Take a rest. Two more exercises to go. I promise we're getting close. Two more exercises. Remember the plate taps. Position, tapping out, minimizing that hip movement, all right? So let's finish it up, team. We got it. Take a deep breath. Three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, reach. Try to keep those hips as stable as you can. What I don't want to see is this. Don't do that. That does not help you. St stable core means strong, stable hips. As you reach, how far can you reach? Beautiful work. Is it starting to burn? Because it should have started burning about a minute ago. But we are doing awesome, so keep it up. Breathe, hold, breathe, hold. Getting close. Activate those glutes. Do not give up. We are almost there. Woo. Last one of the day, last one of the day. I promised you that we would finish with everything we got. So let's do this, all right? So last one of the day. Let's get those feet up. Slight angle or fully extended. Arms are straight up. Let's finish. Remember, 45 seconds. It's not about speed, it's about making sure that you can reach those toes. You will feel that burn in the upper abs. This is what you want. If it's really starting to hurt your neck, go ahead and put your hands behind your head, but do not push your head so your chain goes in your chest. You're just using it as a guide, keeping those arms and elbows out. Otherwise, keep those arms up as we're getting close to finishing our last set of abs for the day. Either drawing those arms behind you and reaching, or just keeping them straight up. Last few seconds, and I promise that we are done. And ooh, go ahead and relax. My abs are on fire. Are yours? Nice work, team. All right, so beautiful work. Give yourself a round of applause. Doesn't matter if your family's staring at you, because you did awesome, okay? So. In light of that, go ahead and drink some water. And we're just going to finish with a four minute cool down, but it's always important to finish with something. So go ahead and drink your water quickly, and then we will get started with your cool down. And think about how you feel, right? 
Are you sweating like me? You probably don't see it, but yes, I am sweating. My abs are burning because I know I pushed myself in my 100. So you got to make sure that you are doing it likewise. All right, team. So let's go ahead and we're going to start stretching with those straps. Let's go get those straps to mid length. Remember, right where the gray and black meet, you want the, that yellow tab to be right around where that gray and black meets. And right away, we're going to go ahead and start getting that heart rate to drop, okay? So, notice the angle. Remember, I'm going to slightly bend the knees. I'm going to hinge back, letting all my weight drop. My arms are stretched. I'm just going to move my feet to kind of just help adjust me a little bit. So, if it feels good to you, keep your feet where they're at. Should be about shoulder width. Take a deep breath, breathe in, and breathe out. I want you to come up nice and slow. Good. Got a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out. Coming back down, bend those knees slightly, drop the head. Just relax. Think about what an awesome amount of work you did today. In less than 40 minutes, we are going to finish today, and you did awesome, right? So, power it up, back nice and slow. Beautiful, go ahead and turn around. Once again, I'm gonna have you walk until you cannot walk anymore. Let me go ahead and scoot over just a little bit so you can see me. So notice once again, I'm just nice and those arms are straight so I feel it in my chest. So remember, we also did some chest work. And then from here, I'm gonna have you bring both arms up and take your time. Notice it's nice and slow. Reach as high as you can. And then all the way back again. Beautiful. Let's try that one again. We'll do that three times all the way up. Reach as high as you can, all the way down, slowly, stretch, one more, all the way up, beautiful, down, as far as you can, beautiful, nice. Now, go ahead and drop those straps. For these last couple of minutes, we're going to get on the ground. I love to do my child's poses, so yes, we're going to get ahead and finish with those. As we get down, once again, hands in front of you, slight angle. Notice that my hips and my shoulder, excuse me, my knees are shoulder width. Dropping those hips behind me, relaxing completely. Close your eyes. And we're just gonna hang out here for about 20 seconds. Close those eyes, go ahead and roll your head from right to left as if you're saying no. But no, slowly, just a nice nod from side to side, rotating from the neck. Just think about saying no. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up slowly. Nice work. From here, bring your right leg forward. Right leg forward. Notice that my opposite arm is going to cross over and I'm going to twist as much as I can and hold. All right, so I'm twisting what feels good to me. I'm sure you can still hear me. Notice that my hand is trying to reach for the wall behind me, and just hold it there. Beautiful. From there, return. Go ahead and bring those arms straight up. Reach for the sky. And from here, we're gonna switch knees, so take your time as you switch one knee to left knee. Cross over with that opposite arm. Turn as far as you can go. Hold. Beautiful work. Now your body should be returning back to Normal body temperature, slowly but surely, to the middle. Reach to the sky as much as you can. Awesome work. Once again, we're gonna come all the way up. So, plank first, walking all the way back. Beautiful. Up slow. Last one of the day. Let's keep it simple. Feet are closed, hands to heart. I want you to reach up high as you can. Open the arms. When you come down, I just want you to relax those arms as loose as you can, fully relax, bend your knees slightly, we're going to finish here with our last 10 seconds, take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out, beautiful, come up nice and slow, and what's well, been great work today, thank you so much for following me here live. And once again, this is one of our harder workouts. Uh, we'll also be coming out with combinations for workouts for beginners, intermediates. I'm a big fan of HIIT training. I love to do high level training, as you can tell. This is a little bit more of a strength component. But once again, keep watching us. We're gonna have everything on the schedule once again. All of you have a great rest of your day. Make sure to stay safe out there, and whatever you do, make sure you stay healthy.
We are TRX. I'll see you guys later.